I flip the pages of my life. Every line that I write as I make history. You can see me. You can see me. You can see me. Thank you so much for staying with us. We are inside here, you know, the rowdy segment. Mm -hmm. The hashtag Gaza. is like that. that. And I'm going to hit the ball over to Dex. All right. Everybody know Dex, right? The producer? Yeah, yeah. All I know right. they know Dex. So, so, so Dex, we go ahead, we go bring ahead. it in. Talking more boy. You know, we'll come going on. And so we pray for all, yeah, all right? Oh Those my two. gosh, that's so out of time in the world. What about that? Because <laughs> you're outside. <laughs> all right, let me move on. So hashtag is like that. We inside the hashtag with Miss Nichelle Dutton John. John. All right, I'll make sure I say her name right on the book. And she is the author of, what is it, how does it go? Understanding, Understanding. Midlife Crisis and Divorce. Well, what's your book there? <laughs> Understanding Midlife <laughs> Crisis and Divorce. Everything you need to know about Midlife Crisis and Divorce. So, no, Dex, you cannot have a fast, can you? cannot chase young women when you get older. Well, let me Ooh. go right there. So, the hashtag is like that topic is Midlife Crisis. Is it a myth? Is this something that men use to buy fast cars, like could they just like, chase a young woman? Or is it a reality and we just can't help ourselves? You know what I mean? So, Michelle, mm -hmm. tell Not us. Not to the experts. All yeah. right. Talk to us. Is it a reality? Is it a figment of one's imagination? We make it up and we, we make it up. advertising pushing it. All right. And uh, there are a number of persons who have the persuasion that it is something that is made up. Mm -hmm. uh, what we've found really is that it's become more known in the Western societies. Mm -hmm. So you'd find that in Asia, out there, you would not have that element too much, simply because the whole concept of aging is not much of an issue mm. in the Asian circles, mm -hmm. as opposed to the Western societies. Right. Right, right, right. So we are so caught up with youth mm. and mm. remaining young as much as we can Evergreen. at all costs, <laughs> almost, mm -hmm. that it becomes an issue when you are approaching the age of 40. And of course, some persons grapple with it between the ages of 35 and 40. 35. But as yes. young though. Yes, yeah. yes, as early as 35. Because of course, you have the whole issue of, of aging and right. the fact mm -hmm. that you're approaching this number that seems to be larger than life. Mm -hmm. And you are now concerned about, did I accomplish all that I wanted to? Have right. I done all that I want right. to? Mm -hmm. And you're going through certain um, hormonal stuff that's happening as well. So also, you have, you're dealing, dealing with so many issues. You, on hormones now. You ha yes, because we're dealing with the biological aspect. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with the psychological aspect. We have socially how we interact with each other. Right. And of course, we're going to go down the road in terms of uh, the what I call the anatomy of an affair. The anatomy of an affair. Yes. That's on the next so book. Or a good, or a good, <laughs> a good element movie. The anatomy yes. of an affair. Yes. Yeah. So you find that um, when it is a figment of one's imagination, it certainly proves to be quite different in reality. And I want to read very, very quickly a little snippet here from the book and. Uh, it's about whether it's reality or not. All right, and all right, all right. Uh, it says here, and it's, it's this guy Conway, I don't know if you're familiar with the name. You're, you're not seeing James it, but Conway. The way how she has spread out the, um, the sentences, I mean, it's so easy to read. Where is so it? So, buy the book, right Helen, buy the book. I think you Great. moved it. You, you opened the book and I it changed the, where. I changed, I changed That's the book. Book. Okay. Okay. Okay, but look, I'm just kidding. It. I'm just kidding. Right, cool. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and it says here that in reality, the midlife crisis is not so much a matter of a man's chronological age as it is a matter of his state of mind. Mm. The man who is not expecting anything to happen at, to him at middle adulthood is startled to discover that he has now begun to act someone, somewhat like his adolescent son. And how many times have we seen a number of men in their 40s and going up 50s? Now, now going to pierce the air. Piercing True. the air. Right. They have a whole arm of tattoos, tattoos. and they're wearing the tight fitting jerseys right. and the bulging bear bellies there. So, yeah. but that's just being but metro. That's not demonstrating you going through a midlife. Crisis. When you're looking like a teenager, ah, uh, yes, because your teenager is doing the same thing. Oh, okay. So your teenager is dressing. Yeah, in yeah, that kind okay, of rebellious better. manner. Right, right. And so, what so how come that's rebellious now? Well, if you look at it from the perspective of naturally progressing through life, which is what middle adulthood is. It's just right. another aspect of, of development. Mm -hmm. So you start off with infancy, you move to to um, toddler age, you move to school age, right. and then you move to adolescence, adolescence and you move around now to young adulthood, right. and then, wow, we're here with middle adulthood, and that's where the whole drama surrounds. But during that period, um, the whole midlife concept is not any much different than teetering that a toddler would go through. 
Mm. It's not any different to the rebellion that a teenager would go Interesting. through. Interesting. You see? Right. So you find that it's just another transition that you're going through. But what happens at that particular point in time, in middle adulthood in particular, okay. is that nobody prepares you for it. I was now going to say that. Nobody prepares you. That. Yes, because yeah. everybody, if you think about all these different life stages, you prepared for going into primary school right, right, before right. you could even get a uniform, they're talking about you're going to big school just yep. now, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. And everybody's prepared, preparing this child but for the next you, stage. But when you have a middle adult, what's it called? Middle, middle adulthood. adulthood. You're just prepared to die. Yeah. That is really well, right. <laughs> yes. That is it. You know, basically, when you reach that age, for every other age, yeah, just, you're, you're getting ready to live a next stage of your life, but mm -hmm. when you reach that age, is you basically just try to stay alive because the next thing is death. Looking well, forward to retirement. Yeah, exactly. And, and that is what the, that whole perception, which of course is incorrect, right. but that whole perception is what creates the fear. Right, right. And that whole fear of you aging. Regain, regain and, something, right? Yes, there. and you want to hold on to it for dear life. Yeah, yeah. So then, so, but I, I don't get what, you know, trying to hold on for dear life mm -hmm. have to do with finding a, a younger wife. So why you can't hold on for dear life with your already wife? Because, uh, yeah. uh, Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because you cannot like you looking for, you cannot revitalize. You, you cannot think you're looking for. Too much TV. But, no, no, but you ask me the question. Let me ask you the question. All right, go ahead. And the question is what again? I'm not sure that. But she's saying. The question that, is why, why you want to move on to a young girl. Yeah, why, why can't it be with your, your midlife with your wife? And, it's a different and, and that is what yeah. the book is essentially about. Because if you realize in fine print, a little lower down, it says strengthening marriages and reducing, and reducing divorce. divorces. Because okay. we want people to understand, and people who are particularly going through this phase, mm -hmm. that they need to embrace the facts. Know that what they are going through. Many times you don't know what you're going through. You mm. just start feeling a particular way. Mm -hmm. The wife not dressing as sexy as she used to. You're she not taking care of herself. Next time she dress and sexy, I don't you, look sexy no You're working in an organization. Oh, you hear no, it? No, 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 you know that when she tried to wear those same things, maybe he doesn't see. You know, no, maybe. But, no, but, but remember, go ahead. But no, but remember too. I mean, the views are just not what I believe. Eh? <laughs> but remember too, he is at a point in his own development where he is evaluating or reassessing his own worth, his own value, right. and whether he is in fact still still has it. If you know. Now that is that amazing. whole concept. I have I have encountered guys who believe that um yeah like you said you see that see that line mm -hmm. yeah yeah they they trap the young girl not because they really want to do anything you know mm -hmm. because they were sex a man I still have yes, it. Yes, you still have it's it. It's like we have. So mm -hmm. what about the women? That's good. Ah. Because what's a big because. I love, I love that. your sister, but I don't think she's going through a midlife crisis. She is. She is not. She is, no. We had but a discussion. <laughs> I, I, anyway, go ahead. You use my sister as an example. She, she is. No, not but, your sister. Not your sister. But go ahead, go ahead. But, you know, younger men are still very much attracted to her. Yes. And mm -hmm. she's sexy. I, I, right? I I go ahead. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, she would still wear clothes that 21 or 22 year olds would wear right. and, and I don't see it as her going through a midlife crisis because mm -hmm. even my mom she looks plenty younger than her age right. so I think that is you know the woman mm -hmm. being a woman just taking and good care, just of, herself. Taking good care yes, of herself yes. and, and I have no problem with that as a matter of fact that is what ideally we should be doing. So we should be taking care of ourselves as we age. It shouldn't be an issue of, of trying to fight up with the young people, so to speak. So then how do we like identify that? when a woman is going through a, a midlife crisis? The first question well, is, do women actually go through midlife? Because you always have a demand yes, 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 midlife, yes, yes, but yes. women go through midlife crisis. And it has been proven, yes, women and also so they have go psychological through. Changes now they, they have psychological changes. They become crazy as the years well, go by. Well, <laughs> listen to me very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're PMSing now as a woman and you and you guys having a hard time dealing with your wives. Think about midlife as PMS on crack. <laughs> 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 what? I, I think I'll leave it to you. <laughs> 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 because the turbulence is there. It is mm. very, very real. Men, women, I'm listen crackers. to me. It is not a figment <laughs> of our imagination. Wow. Ask me, I know, and I'm not even talking about the book. So it is something that is very real. Mm -hmm. And you go through very, mm -hmm. very, very significant hormonal changes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they manifest themselves, listen to me carefully, they manifest listen. themselves at home when you're interacting with your husband, when you're interacting with your co-workers, when you're interacting with whomever, mm -hmm. you know? So how do we address this then? 
addressing it. They buy the book. Well, <laughs> that you, too. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. Understanding you. midlife crisis and divorce by Nichelle Dutton John. Yes, yeah. I, I look for it on the bookshelves. I value that. Yes. Thank you. And it's, and it's also on, you said it's on Amazon as well. It right? is, in fact, on Amazon as a paperback and it's also on as a Kindle version. Great. Excellent. What, so, what is the price on Amazon? On Amazon, it's twenty one US on the Kindle and it's thirty something US on the paperback, which is like this. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right, cool. So, um, it's, it's, yes, but addressing it is very real, simply because you need to prepare yourself, and that's essentially mm -hmm. what it's all about. It's about preparing yourself, knowing what you have that lies ahead, mm -hmm. and learning how to navigate it properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like that. You have to prepare for midlife crisis just as much as you would prepare for adolescence, or just as you prepare your child from one stage to the next preschool to primary right. school. Yes. Yeah. You know, next. No, if you don't know, how, sorry, you just listen, right? No, but you asked the question. I don't think I've answered the question that you asked about women in particular, if mm -hmm. women are actually going through it. And, and it is said that a number of women go through it. Uh, not all women have a turbulent crisis. Right, right. But, uh, as a matter of fact, some of them have what they call a seamless transition. Mm -hmm. So they transition quite smoothly, almost smoothly into it, without mm -hmm. too much of an upheaval, of yes, not too much of the PMS on crack. Okay. <laughs> All right. But uh, there are some of, some of us women who also go through, and, and it has a lot to do with the expectations that, that, we, that are required of us, mm -hmm. that we are supposed to remain young, Mm -hmm. Forever, mm -hmm. as women. Mm -hmm. That's another hashtag. Is like you know, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. remember, y'all, if you need to know more, buy the book. All right, and save yourself the trouble of just thinking midlife crisis to prepare for debt. <laughs> All right, that was the hashtag. Is like that. Save us. We'll yes. be right back. All right. <laughs> cool.